Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be about how you can make a starting screen for all your streams. It's really simple and fully customizable, so sit back, relax, and we'll get this done. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up to file, new, Change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080. Feel free to name it whatever you'd like. And keep the background as white. Then just hit create. Now all you want to do is find a background for your starting soon screen, which you can just look up 1920 by 1080 background. And you can find something like this is pretty cool, but I already have one. So if you find it, just copy image and then paste it. But I already have one. I think this one works pretty good. So now all you want to do is go to your text tool, type starting soon. Now you just want to turn the size up on it and move it down to the bottom and duplicate this layer and type in stream. Now you just want to find a font for these. All right, so this is the one I'm going to go with. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to apply that to the other one as well. D H U. Okay. So now we're ready to start sizing these. So once you click on one of your text layers, go up to edit, free transform, hold shift to bring it up a little bit and move it to the center and do the same with stream, but make them the same width. like this I'm gonna arrange them a little bit I should be good now go to your rectangle tool down here you can either use the rectangle or a line tool that is up to you I'm gonna go with the rectangle tool and I'm gonna change the fill to white up here so I'm just gonna draw a rectangle it's like it's more of a line honestly all the way to the end like this and I'm going to move it in the center. So now I'm going to go up to stream, click gradient overlay, and I'm going to change the colors from a light blue. Well, a light ish blue to an even lighter blue like that. And I'm going to add a stroke on it. I'm going to make the stroke white and I'm going to make it kind of thick. Thick is always good. All right, now I'm going to go back to my other layer and do gradient and stroke and it should apply the same settings on each. Now, if we want, we can go to the shape tool and just add bevel and emboss and just change the angle to 90. So it gives it like some depth. I'm going to move this up a little bit more like that. Now what we can do is we can double click on our background layer and we could add a gradient overlay, click reverse, and then change style to radial. Click the color box and change it from white or black to white. So it's like a spotlight like this, and then change the blend mode to multiply and move the scale up. To about like that and just hit okay now i think it's kind of off center so i'm going to select all these move it down so that's just the basics you get the idea so you can customize it however you like but this is what i'm going to use for the tutorial hopefully this helped you guys if it did leave a like and subscribe don't forget to join our discord in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out